a lot of money. Saving a lot of money on school supplies. If you were one of the thousands of lucky and patient people who waited at the link today, you guys have a great school year. You too. You drove off with free book bags and supplies for your kids, courtesy of the Philadelphia School District and some corporate partners. I mean, I'm expecting to get a book bag and school supplies to get me ready for virtual learning online. Philly students will start classes from home. The district believes good supplies will help them take it seriously. Business as usual, as much as possible. And so we want them to have designated areas for them to learn and, and receive the instruction, but to also just be focused and do the best that they can do to uh, have a really good school year. So, not many people are buying things like new school clothes, new school shoes and lunch boxes, but reports show people are spending more on technology items like laptops, tablets, headphones, anything to sort of make the virtual learning setup more effective for the kids. In northern Delaware, school districts will start later than normal, so no rush at all today on school supplies at this Walmart. Many private and Catholic schools are heading back in person or in a hybrid mode this week or next, but the public schools will be virtual and start later. They are not coming here. We're going to meet them on their computers. Kathleen teaches at Highlands Elementary. She raised money on her own to get her students' laptop cushions so they can work better from home. She will get to see her new students just one time in person. That's when they show up Monday to pick up supply bags in the gym. So each child in our school will be sent home with crayons and pencils and pencil sharpeners. They'll be sent home with their Chromebook and a charger. Hopefully at some point soon they can all come back and learn together in person. Tim Furlong, NBC 10 News.